So welcome everyone. My name is Krista Averill. I'm the assessment coordinator for the Maine Through Year Assessment here at the Maine Department of Education. In this session, we will be discussing the accessibility features for the Maine Through Year Assessment in reading and math. This session is appropriate for district assessment coordinators, school assessment coordinators, special education directors, educators, and other school personnel who are seeking a better understanding of assessment accessibility features for all students. Communication with the field about accessibility features is important for ensuring equitable access to the assessments for all learners. And so I do encourage you to share this information with your colleagues. There are three tiers of accessibility features, universal tools, designated supports, and accommodations. So universal tools are available to all students who take the assessment, whereas designated supports and accommodations are more limited. And we'll be discussing each of these in detail. In addition, each accessibility feature or each universal tool, designated support and accommodation can be classified as embedded or non-embedded. So embedded accessibility features impact how the assessment is delivered within the online assessment platform and non-embedded accessibility features are provided locally and do not change the assessment within the platform. Universal tools are readily available to all students. So embedded universal tools are provisions within the assessment platform provided automatically to all students. These do not need to be assigned. Examples include Zoom, Line Reader, and Answer Eliminator. The best way to, to prepare all of your students is to explore the item type samplers. Item type samplers for the main through your assessment are available in the secure lockdown browser online and in PDF form for those students taking paper-based assessments. Large print and braille item type samplers will be included with the large print and braille assessment form shipments, which we'll talk more about in just a moment. The math reference sheet is an embedded universal tool in the assessment platform that is available to all students in all grade levels. If you prefer, however, to provide your students with a paper copy of the math reference sheet, the PDF can be found in our website. And I will also include a link to it in the Q&A document, which will be sent out with the recording of this session. Scrap or scratch paper is a universal tool, including lined paper, blank paper, and graph paper, as well as an individual erasable whiteboard or assistive technology device to make notes or record responses. All scratch paper must be collected and destroyed at the end of each test session to maintain assessment security. The next tier of accessibility features are designated supports. Designated supports increase the accessibility without altering the construct of any assessment item. In other words, it doesn't change what is being assessed. Designated supports are determined on an individual basis for example, but certainly not limited to, as part of a multi-tiered system of supports, response to intervention, individual language acquisition plan, or student assistance team. In short, a team of two or more education professionals with knowledge of a student's performance determine the appropriateness of a designated support for an individual student. And the support must be consistent with the student's normal routine during classroom instruction and assessment. Designated supports are entered into the assessment platform by either the school or district assessment coordinator. So the mean through your assessment in mathematics is not intended to assess the student's reading ability, and yet the general assessments do use grade level text and academic vocabulary. So again, the requirements for assigning designated supports are that a team of two or more education professionals make the determination that a student should be provided access to text-to-speech on the assessment and that decision is consistent with the student's normal routine during classroom instruction and assessment. Documentation does not need to be provided for the assignment of designated supports such as text-to-speech and the student does not need an IEP, 504 plan, RTI plan, individual language acquisition plan, or other documentation to be assigned text-to-speech on the assessment. 
Students who are assigned text-to-speech will need either headphones or to be assigned to an individual separate setting. The directions, questions, and answer choices on the reading assessment are not intended to assess the student's reading ability. What is meant to assess the student's reading ability are the reading passages. So when you assign text-to-speech for the reading assessment, it will not read the reading passages. Some non-embedded designated supports will need to be assigned to students in the assessment platform if utilized. Individual or small group setting is provided to minimize distractions for students whose test is administered out of the classroom or so that others will not be distracted by supports or accommodations being used. Bilingual word glossaries or word-to-word -word glossaries without definitions provided to students who are multilingual learners as a language support for their individual language acquisition plan. We do understand that the bilingual word glossaries accessed by students on a daily basis are usually online, but additional online devices cannot be accessed during the assessment. Paper-based word-to-word glossaries provided by the school or SAU can be used for the assessments, however. Mathematical supports is a designated support provided only for the math portion of the main three-year assessment. Mathematical supports must be consistent with the student's normal routine during classroom instruction and can include but are not limited to a number line, multiplication charts, base 10 blocks, fraction tiles without numerical labels, and clocks without numbers or gears. Please note that calculator use throughout the entire math assessment will be discussed later as an accommodation, not a designated support. The calculator is already provided within the assessment platform wherever appropriate for the general population. The mathematical supports provided should not alter the construct of the topics being assessed. In other words, the support should not simply give the student the answer. For example, multiplication is a key component of the math content assessed in third grade, which aligns with Maine's accountability standards. Providing a multiplication chart to a third grader could provide them with the answer. And so Maine DOE recommends that multiplication charts should not be provided to third graders. For an eighth grader, however, the multiplication chart may provide them with a tool to show what they know in relation to grade level content. There are several supports that you can provide to students within the classroom that do not need to be indicated in the assessment platform. Some examples include assistive technology, medical devices, visual aids such as magnification devices, auditory devices such as noise buffers, the student reading the assessment aloud to themselves, and directions clarification. So accommodations are changes in procedures or materials that are used to increase equitable access during the assessment for students with documentation of the need on an individualized education plan or a 504 plan. Accommodations are entered into the assessment platform by the school or district assessment coordinator. Accommodated paper-based forms include standard paper-based forms, large print forms, and braille forms. In order to receive an accommodated paper-based form, the need for assessments to be paper-based and not administered online needs to be noted in the IEP or 504 plan. Standard paper-based forms are size 12 font. If the provision of this accommodation is approved by Maine DOE, NWEA will provide secure login instructions so that the SAU can print the form on demand. Large print forms are size 18 font. And if the provision of this accommodation is approved by Maine DOE, large print forms are shipped to the school by NWEA. The shipment will include large print item type samplers as well. Please note that the Zoom tool in the assessment platform allows for greater magnification than size 18 font, and that students may use an external monitor if needed. In order to use the external monitor, the external monitor would need to be set up as the primary screen in the device settings. Both contracted and uncontracted Braille forms are available, and please reach out to me if you have a student who requires a Braille form. Lastly, human reader is an accommodation only allowed for students that have a documented need for paper-based assessments. The student will have those parts of the test that have text-to-speech support in the computer-based version read aloud. 
This applies to directions, questions, and answer choices, not reading passages. If a student needs to listen to text read aloud and is using a computer-based assessment, the student will need to use the text-to-speech tool. Standard and large print forms require main DOE approval. In addition to indicating the need for standard or large print forms in the Acacia platform, as you would do with any other support or accommodation, a paper-based form also requires a request form to be completed. Braille counts are shared with Maine DOE by Nancy Moulton of Catholic Charities. And at this time, we have no students recorded who need Braille forms for the fall assessment. So if you do have a student that requires Braille, please let me know as soon as possible. In terms of other accommodations, American Sign Language interpreters are allowed as needed. And lastly, Scribe is an accommodation in which scribed answers are entered directly into the testing platform. Please note that although there are fill in the blank questions on the through year assessment in mathematics, there are no constructed response questions on this assessment. Some of the non embedded accommodations are only applicable to one assessment due to the content being assessed. So for the main through year assessment in math, a calculator may be provided throughout the entire assessment for those students who have calculator use as part of their IEP or 504 plan. A calculator is already provided within the assessment platform for some, but not all assessment items. For the main through year reading assessment in grades six and above, read aloud or human reader for reading passages is an accommodation only allowed for students in grades six through eight and second year of high school who have a documented print disability. There are many resources located on our webpage for this, but I'm gonna provide you with a brief overview of some of the training resources that are available on our site. So this is just highlighting a, a few key points of the video that was created by the Office of Special Services and Inclusive Education, or OSSE. So for the main through year assessment, students in grades six and above with a print disability who are currently utilizing text-to-speech or human reader to access text across subject areas will be able to access the human reader for reading passages accommodation on the through year assessment in reading. So this is a relatively new accommodation that was first available in the spring of 23. So for clarification, a student with a print disability is unable to gain information from standard printed materials at an anticipated level for their grade and needs alternate access to the information. And there's strong evidence suggesting that the reading disability will persist despite intensive targeted instruction. So the main through year assessment is administered via the Acacia platform. At this time, the functionality of text-to-speech for reading passages is not yet available. It's something that we continue to work with uh, NWEA on being able to provide, but it looks at this time the earliest we would be able to provide text-to-speech for reading passages would be fall of 2024. And so that's why at this time, this is a human reader accommodation. So on our website, there's some additional resources specific to this accommodation. There's a guide for print disabilities, a print disability flowchart, and a print disability text to speech checklist. If you are providing human reader for reading passages, please note that that print disability text to speech checklist does need to be completed and signed and put in the student's special education file. 